Yo, what's going on everybody? So about a month ago or a little over a month ago, I asked you guys in a community response post, I said, which three characters from Boruto generation would make it during Naruto's era? And I specifically said only the part one portion of the tuning exams. The three characters that you guys pick will be put on a team. And I said, make sure you pick very carefully. Finally, I said, which team from the Konoha 12? tuning exams early would give the team that you formed the most trouble and i thought this would be a pretty fun little community response to do man because you know everybody talks about how boris's generation is too powerful and yet when you look at naruto's generation like i don't think that they're quite there yet and so i want to see you know you guys ask me all the time like how does kid boruto deal with kid naruto and so gaining boruto versus gaining naruto and i don't really do versus battles but this would be really cool just to kind of see what you guys thoughts were on this so let's look at uh i nut on birth <laughs> oh man that's animal cruelty right there man <laughs> that's animal cruelty right there man you bland blaming your nut of butter all over some defense birds and everything man come on man <laughs> all right so he said his three-man team would be oh that's a good team he said Mitsuki Shikadai and Shinki that's a good ass team I like that one man like you got like the powerhouse in Mitsuki you got Shinki who's also a powerhouse but can fight from long range and you got Shikadai who's a tactical genius I mean that's good man I like that I like that you know because Shikadai I mean he came from the nutsack of the genius of Shikamaru and he came out the womb of another genius in Tamari like you know people say oh Shikadai is too smart like look who his freaking parents are that would be like if Minato had sex with the female version of Minato and out popped a kid of course the kid would be freaking overpowered when it comes to being a genius and tactician skills so J uh, Javon Harrington said Boruto, Mitsuki, and Sarda would fit perfectly they're basically team seven without a weak Sakura slowing them down oh man <laughs> without a weak Sakura slowing them down I want to say the one team who could give them trouble is Gar's team but Sage Mode Mitsuki with the intent to kill might get them mm. That's a good one, man. I, I don't know. I mean, Mitsuki's Sage Mode, like the fact that Orochimaru said that, you know, he might actually be stronger than him. Like, I don't know. Like, if Mitsuki goes Sage Mode, that's it. I don't think there'd be anything about it might be too much trouble. I think maybe if Gar transforms, he might have a case. But, I mean, that's that's good. I like that, though. I like that. So, uh, Daily Delon said, All you guys are sleeping on Metal Lee. He would have made it, no doubt. That's not, that's not a bad point. Sure, he has shortcomings, but the only thing separating him from Naruto's generation is the time he was born. He's got the work ethic, the ability to realize and fix his mistakes, and he's not afraid to get into a challenge. Mark my words when I say Metal Lee later on will do something big. And you know what? I, I do agree with that. I do think that Metal Lee could probably hang with Naruto's generation, but at the same time, like, you know, the whole thing with his... Uh, with his nerves, I don't think he's fully gotten over him. I know the episode with uh, Metal Lee seeking advice from Rock Lee and him buying all these stupid ass trinkets and everything. I know that was meant to show that he was overcoming it, but you know, there, there's some phobias that don't fully, you don't fully get over. And so I'm really curious, to, I, I gotta see Metal Lee in a serious fight if I can go that far. But I do think that Metal Lee, like you're saying, he's got the work ethic, you know, he's clearly got the Taijutsu skill. You know, he could probably finesse some people in Naruto's generations. I mean, at, at least the ones that took the tuning exams. I mean, I, I do like that. I do think that they're setting Metal Lee up to be a pretty decent figure in the future, though. I mean, the manga hasn't really focused on the Konoha or the new generation of the Konoha Ninja. It's mainly been the Boruto on Team 7 show. I mean, the anime's done a good job of fleshing all the characters out. So, I mean, this is going to be interesting to see how that goes. I like that comment. So, Arlie Flores says, Sarda, Shikadai, and Mitsuki, led by Mirai Saratobi. That'd be a good team, man. And you know what? Like, I really want to see some Mirai and Sarda stuff because I really want to see Sarda become more of a Genjutsu master. I really want to see that. I really want to see that. I mean, she's the, the niece of Itachi. Like, she's got to be a Genjutsu beast. Like, I know that she's used Genjutsu in this newest arc, and she's used the Sharingan, but I mean, I, I, I want to see more beast Genjutsu moments with Sarada, man. So, Taliban JT said, Boruto, Shinki, and Mitsuki off the flat. That'd be good. 
That'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be good. Shinky. I could, I could see that. I could see that. So Phantom Z said, hmm, I'd have to say Mitsuki, Shinky, and Kawaki. <laughs> hey, man, for those of you who are not caught up on the manga, Kawaki's strong as hell. Kawaki's strong as hell. He's strong as hell. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil it, you know, because, you know, this isn't the time of the month where I do spoiler type videos, but I will say Kawaki is really freaking powerful. So, I mean, I, I could see that. I could see that Kawaki might, physically, Kawaki could probably keep up and probably hold his own with some of those upper tiers in Naruto's generation, especially during the tuning exams. He might actually defeat everybody who took place in the tuning exams. So that's gonna trigger some people, but I could see it. I could see it, so right there. I honestly can't think of any team from the old gen that could take them down. I mean, especially if you allow Miski to use Sage Mode. And I don't take into consideration that Blood Prison OVA where you had Naruto and Konohamaru and was like, oh no, you can't use Sage Mode. Not a, that's not in the rules. That wasn't in the tuning exams rules. That's OVA only, so I don't really count that. So I mean, that, that's good. So Javon Brown said Miski, Shikadai, and Shinki. I'm seeing a lot of people put these guys together. Uh, uh, in particular, I'm seeing a lot of people putting uh, Miski and Shinki, uh, excuse me, Miski and Shikadai on the same team. That's a dangerous duo. That is a really dangerous duo, man. That is a really dangerous duo because Shikadai has the smarts and he's also got the shadow paralysis jutsu. And when you go by the Boruto character profile, he's got some proficiency in uh, wind release. I mean, it's wow. Wow, that could work, especially when Miski starts using the lightning sage snake attack and Miski's attacking, you know, point blank range. You know, she could die, could attack in the shadows. That'd be good. I like that. I like that a lot, man. I like that a lot. So, uh, Cigar uh, Vichy says Miski, Shinki, and Boruto. Uh, that's another good one. So, Boruto with Karma and Jogan, Miski with Sage Mode and Shinky with, with Magnum Release. Yeah, that, that team probably, ooh, I don't wanna go too far into spoilers, but I mean, that team probably, probably runs rough shot through the Konoha 12 and probably through most of the combatants in the tuning exams. I think the I think the sound ninja probably give them a bit of a problem. And I know someone's like the sound ninja, the reason why I say that is like the sound ninja has some pretty hacks abilities, man. Like when you look at Dosu, I mean like Met not Metal League, Rock Lee was about to get all up in this dude's grill. Like he was about to get all up in his grill. And when you look at what Dosu's able to do with the sound waves and what Zaku's able to do, like those sound ninja, they had they had something. But I mean, the only thing is, it's like when you start looking at the buff that Boruto gets using the Karma Seal and Sage Mode and Shinki being able to attack from a distance, like they might be able to counter that. You know, they, they really might be able to count that because, I mean, Shinky's Magna release is pretty freaking OP, OP man. So that's going to be good. So James Swank said, I'm going to pick someone of an odd group. Shikadai, Sarda, and Samir. That is a bit of an odd group. <laughs> I ain't going to front. That's a bit of an odd group. So let's see what he got to say. I like that combination. I just want to see the justification for it because I think Samir is like, I think she's very talented and I think that she's kind of getting shafted in terms of the anime. So I want to see what you got to say. So the group would be flexible and able to fight most opponents in mid-range as a group. That's true. The group I would see giving them the most trouble would be Shino with Kiba and Hinata as they would eliminate any chance of a surprise attack and hold two strong close range fighters with a long range support type ninja as a backup. Okay, okay, so I do like this. Let's look at the, let's look at the strengths of your team. So Shikadai, Intelligence, Shadow Paralysis, Sarda, Close Range Attack, Genjutsu, Sharingan. I think with Sarda, and she also has two changes in Chakra Nature she's proficient in, so she can attack from long range, but I think the Sharingan kind of changes things because she can't use it for long, but if she gets you under the Genjutsu, I mean, that, that'd do it. That'd do it. But I mean, uh, Shino's buff. You know, Shino, like, Shino got cheated. Shino got cheated, man. Shino, hands down, should have been a tuning 
And you can argue, like, when Neji got promoted to Joni, like, Shino should have been a Joni as well. That's just my opinion. I really feel like he probably had the biggest wasted potential out of any of the members in the Konoha 12. I mean, hands down. Especially, and I, I don't use a lot of filler, but even, like, in the filler, like, he had some really good, really good fights in some of the fillers and some really good uh, analytical stuff. I haven't seen all the Naruto filler because I don't really care for filler. But, you know, I've been impressed with Shino, so... I think Shino could be the wild card, but Kiba, Kiba gets one shot. Like Kiba gets one shot, hands down. So take him out. So Hinata, Byakugan, that that could be a problem. That could be a problem. It, it basically come down to whether or not you believe that Sarda can land a land a hit on Hinata. And whether or not the Sharingan's ability to use the eye of insight to foresee attacks. Whether or not that be enough to counter the Huger clan's gentle fist. I mean, it, it basically comes down to who lands the first strike in that 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 instance. I mean, Hinata could be the wild card in all this. So I mean, that's that's good. You know, Samiri. I mean, she's got some long range abilities. You know, she's able to use the uh, water release. I know that for sure. I'm pretty sure she had lightning release. I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched that arc where we got to see her cut loose. But I mean, she was looking pretty impressive in that fight with uh, Miski. But I mean, Miski was suppressed and eventually finessed her. So I mean, that, that's a good team. I like that, man. I like that team man you get an a plus for that one i like that so uh hanad hassan says kit naruto could honestly one one be all the gaining by himself to be honest when he busts out the one tails or the 2000 shadow clones they're effed. i mean that's true that's true that's true the only only exception to that i i would really like to see what naruto does against karma seal boruto because i mean the karma seal and i don't want to spoil it for the anime viewers I don't want to spoil it, but the Karma Seal does give a pretty insane buff. But, I mean, again, 2,000 Shadow Clones, like, Boruto can't even make six. You know, Naruto's Shadow Clones will probably run rough shot through them, especially if you start taking in some of the filler that got added to the Naruto versus Sasuke fight. But, you know, because this is, you know, only part one tuning exams, Naruto could still make 2,000 Shadow Clones. And he wouldn't have the Rasengan at this point, so... You know, the Vanisher and Singon would be a bit of a problem for him, but, you know, still, though, like, Naruto, I don't know, man, sheer force and that, that QB chakra buff, that, that that's, that's, a, that's a good one. That's a good one. The only thing, like I said, like, Sage Mode Miski and Karma Seal Boruto might give a bit of a problem, but I do think Naruto eventually stomps, though. But that'd be a really good fight, man. i like to see that. So, Knight of Reason said, Miski, Awabe, and Enoji. There we go. Another interesting combo. I like that. I like that. That is that is a good combination. Oh shoot! I like I like this one, man. So what, what you gotta say? Let's see what you gotta say about this team. Mitsuki, Awabi, and Anojin are the only Boruto characters who would be unique in the situation. Everyone else is just a copy of their Part One parents with only minor differences. I don't think Enojin is strong enough to cut it, but Mitsuki and Awabe would be good. And you know what? Like the other thing, the other thing about that is, you know, Enojin would be able to attack from a distance using, you know, the Super Beast Scroll and being able to use those birds. And, you know, if somebody's watching over his body, the mind transfer jutsu, you can just use it while they're out of sight. And the only difference is somebody takes out that bird, he's screwed. I mean, that that's a good one. You know, Awabe, I, I definitely think, I was waiting for somebody to say Awabe, man. Because, like, Awabe, you know, like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, he's been, you know, turned into a bit of a gag character. And they really just kind of really used him. They're not gag character, but a jobber. They really started using that when they had Miski show up and Miski just finesse this dude. Low difficulty. But, like, Awabe, like, when he beat the mess out of Boruto, I think, in episode two, I like the dude, you know, using rock release and, you know, just his attitude and everything. I think Awabe, they probably would have passed this dude when he was in the academy because when Naruto and them were growing up, you know, the Hidden Leaf Fields were still recovering from the third great ninja war, even though it had been over a decade since then. You know, like they weren't letting people graduate from the academy early, but at the same time, though, like they were still, they were still at that point where, they still needed ninjas. I mean, this is good. This is good. I think Awabe could have made it. I think that Awabe, the only thing that hurts him is if he's not on a team with people who are smart enough to overcome his brawn, 
he probably puts his team into a bad situation. But I mean, like Miski has good instincts and Enogene is pretty smart, but Enogene is lacking in a backbone. I'm gonna close out with this right here. I'm a little disappointed that nobody brought up Kabuto because he was a combatant in the tuning exams. Same with some members of the Sand Village. I, I feel like some of their abilities could have made a difference in the battle, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have an awesome day, guys.